those demands that President Putin has made, um, demilitarization of Ukraine, the denazification of Ukraine, um, the Russians have also called for an assurance that Ukraine will not join NATO, that it will be a neutral state. What happens if those demands are not met? Uh, then the military operation will be conducted to the end, and uh, the regime ruling in Ukraine will be ousted, just like legally elected President Yanukovych was ousted with the Western support in 2014. Uh, the question is not who will do it, you know, Mr. Zelensky or his successor. Someone has to declare Ukraine a neutral state, which will not become a member of NATO. Uh, of course, it's better to do it with Mr. Zelensky because he is considered by Russia to be a legally elected president. But if Mr. Zelensky can't do it, he will be ousted and the new government will be created, which will do it sooner or later because uh, I think the majority of Russians and Ukrainians want a neutral state a status for Ukraine. Uh, it's obvious that Ukraine as a NATO member is dangerous for Russia and dangerous for itself. We just heard the view from Moscow there, from Dmitry Babich in Moscow. And if I could just recap some of what he said, he talked about the demands that Russia is making on Ukraine, denazification, demilitarization. He talked about that military base that was attacked by the Russians, saying that Ukraine has been host to a number of military bases uh, that have been used by NATO countries uh, in Ukraine. And he also said that militarily, if Russia does not subdue Ukraine, there would be regime change. What's your response? Well, it was very difficult for me to listen to that because just 30 minutes ago, I did look at the picture of a five-year-old girl. She was staying at her home with her parents when the Russians uh, airstriked, uh, they attacked her house, the residential building, and because of the strike, she lost her left arm. A five-year-old kid who lost her left arm fully because of the Russian attack. And then I'm looking at this picture, and then I'm hearing this idiot, this Russian Kremlin paid propagandist, saying that they're doing the denazification over here. They are the real Nazis of our times. They're killing Ukrainians. They have already killed 100 Ukrainian ki killed. They're attacking residential areas. They're specifically killing the infrastructure here in Ukraine, not the military infrastructure. And they're blatantly lying. We do not have a single NATO base here in Ukraine, and we never did. And he also forgets that Russia attacked Ukraine eight years ago, in 2014, when we were officially a non-allied and neutral state. And now he's saying that they attacked us because we are hostile. No, we are hostile towards Russia because they attacked us eight years ago.